Premium models Galaxy S are not cheap, but users have become used to it and buy them despite the greater price. The most expensive S25 Ultra is even a hit among Ultra versions, and its sales are continually growing. The next series is Galaxy. However, the S26 could be substantially more expensive. Samsung has greater production expenses and could pass them on to the prices of its phones. Around the S26 series, there is a lot of uncertainty right now. It is not definite what models it will feature and when exactly it will be launched. There is suspicion that the reduction of the S26 Edge and the quick addition of the S26 Plus will delay production, and the mobiles could be introduced up to two months late. Another unfavorable piece of news is coming now, stating that users will pay extra for the new products. And it's not so much that Samsung is suffering with production. It's mainly the price of its memory chips, whose prices are increasing. However, mobile phone manufacturers cannot do without them, and it is projected that memory semiconductors will continue to climb in price. The biggest problem is artificial intelligence functions, which are now part of even the cheapest mobile phones, but have huge demands on memory. The challenges are global. The demand for HBM memory, high bandwidth memory, which is around six times more expensive than conventional DRAM. However, as manufacturers focus more on HBM, manufacturing is dropping DRAM, and even these kinds of memory are therefore getting more costly due to the excess demand over supply. Samsung has the disadvantage because although they directly create DRAM memory, it is handled by another company, so they have to acquire them from it in the usual method, which is rather paradoxical and makes the production of mobile phones more expensive. A processor could be his salvation. The Exynos 2600, which is already entering mass production and will be cheaper than the competitive Snapdragon. There is conjecture that it may be incorporated in all models of the S26 series, which might save money. But yet, it will definitely happen. A price increase compared to the Galaxy S25 series, because the price of components is increasing greater and higher. The leaks concerning the forthcoming Samsung Galaxy S26 series continue to appear. A fresh report currently suggests that the business may deploy a new Exynos connection processor named Exynos S6568 in the flagship series. This may help the organization to deliver more secure, reliable, and effective wireless connections. The S6568 is to be used together with a compatible Exynos application processor to build a full Bluetooth plus Wi-Fi solution and Bluetooth 6.1. So, we can anticipate that the Exynos S6568 will function together with the future Exynos 2600 mobile chip. This move sounds similar to Apple's strategy with its N1 connectivity processor, a custom design technology that operates wireless connections on the iPhone 17 series. Since the new Exynos connection processor supports the latest Bluetooth 6.1 standard, Exynos 2600-powered Galaxy S26 handsets may include next-generation wireless features. Announced in May 2025, Bluetooth 6.1 includes a bunch of improvements over previous versions. These generally include increased device privacy and improved power economy. Meanwhile, Samsung has reportedly commenced mass manufacturing of its Exynos 2600 processor using its in-house 2 nanometer process. The initial production volume is allegedly 15,000 wafers, roughly 30% of the total S26 series output scheduled for next year. As a result, the Korean manufacturer may make the Exynos 2600-powered Galaxy S26 handsets available exclusively in certain areas. Samsung may commence mass manufacturing of the S26 and Galaxy S26 Plus in January 2026. As for the Galaxy S26 Ultra, production may commence in December 2025, per reports. As a result, the next generation flagship series may appear slightly later than usual. The first significant camera rumor we've heard about the 2026 Samsung flagships suggests that the entry-level S26 will keep the 50 megapixels main camera for another year. That said, we may see a totally new sensor, one that's larger than before to collect more light, something that can considerably boost picture quality in varied settings. The greater update could come to the S26 Ultra, which may boost the ant on the telephoto lens. 
Some speculations promise a 200 megapixels zooming camera with 5x magnification, while others believe the telephoto will employ the same sensor as previously. The distinctive secondary telephoto lens on the Ultra is also said to get an upgrade to 50 megapixels with 3.5x optical magnification. However, all that pales in contrast compared to speculations of a 324 megapixels main camera, though that may be a bit extreme. Further conjecture indicates the S26 Ultra may see the return of variable aperture, something we haven't seen on a Galaxy since 2019. The old solution was a lot less flexible than what other phone makers, including Xiaomi, have offered in recent years. So it'll be intriguing to see what Samsung can do with it. If you were anticipating any upgrades to the selfie camera on the new phones, maybe put a pin in those expectations. A report suggests the S26 will use the same front camera that's been in place since the S23. 3. Battery and Charging There have been a handful of S26 battery speculations so far, and none of them can seem to agree on what to expect from the three phones in the lineup. The earliest suggested that we may see the phones come with silicon carbon battery chemistry, which delivers substantially higher power density than standard lithium-ion batteries. That would effectively mean increased battery capacity without taking up more space. It could also translate to a smaller physical battery that frees up room for other things. It all depends on in which manner Samsung wants everything to run. Sadly, following rumors stated that the Ultra variant wouldn't reach 5,000, 400 milliamps. While larger than the 5000 milliamps battery in the Galaxy S25 Ultra, it's not nearly the stunning boost from those earlier reports, even if it is a lot more probable. In the months since then, we've heard that the battery may not be getting any form of upgrade at all, with Ice Universe reporting that the S26 Ultra will feature the same 5000 milliamps battery as prior Galaxy Ultra models. Thankfully, Ice Universe also predicts that the charging speed will eventually exceed 45 watt, subsequently suggesting it would approach 60 watt. While it's something of a meme at this point, it's about time Samsung pushed the charging rate to something that can better challenge its Chinese counterparts. However, in a subsequent post on Weibo, Ice Universe noted that the 60 watt charging speed might not raise the overall rate by that much. In the report, they report that the phone could only obtain 75 to 80 percent charge from 0 percent after 30 minutes. Still, it could exceed 90 percent in less formal tests, which can be fairly conservative. And the other S26 models. Sadly, they could continue with 25 watt charging like many Galaxy S devices before them. But at least wireless charging could get upgraded with true QI2 support so that you'll no longer have to buy an extra case to enjoy the benefit of the improved wireless charging standard. Even at this time, there's still a lot we don't know about the S26 lineup, including what phones will make up the 2026 models and when they might come. It is evident that anyone anticipating a significantly new design for Samsung's phones would be disappointed, even if other prospective changes do seem encouraging. The key questions right now will be what happens to the Plus model and if the Edge really has gone after just one generation. We also want to hear more about potential improvements to cameras and display, and it would be fantastic to know whose chipset will actually power the S26 next year. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech news and updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.